What's up everyone? In today's video, I'm going to show you my workflow for editing this mountain biking lifestyle photo in Lightroom. We post new resources and videos every week, so make sure you hit subscribe and follow us on social media using the links in the description. Also visit newlayer.com and sign up for the email list for special offers that are only available for email subscribers. Let's get started. Here's the before image and here's the after, and I'm going to show you the steps that I took to process this image in Lightroom. New Layer members can download this photo in the project files at newlayer.com, but you can apply these methods to your own photos as well. So I'm going to click on the before photo and hide these thumbnails. And the first thing that I want to do is increase the color temperature to make this image look warmer since it was taken near sunset. So I'm going to come over to the temp slider and drag that to the right. Around 7600 looks good. And sometimes in nature photos, I like the tint to lean a little more towards the green side because of all the plants. So I'm going to drag the tint to the left a little bit, and the 11 looks good. And I think I want to increase the exposure just a tiny bit, so I'll drag that to the right to just about 0.1 or so. Now I really want this biker to stand out, so I'm going to come up and create a radial filter. And I'm going to click on her and drag to make a selection. And I'm going to set the exposure to about negative 1. So right now it's applying to the inside of our mask, but I want it to apply to the outside of the mask. So I'm just going to come down and uncheck the invert box. And now that change applies outside of our mask. So I'll increase the size of the mask just a little bit. And click again to close out of that. Next I want to bring back some of the details in the highlights and the shadows. So I'm going to come down to the highlights and drag that to the left to about negative 65. And then I'll increase the shadows just a little bit to about 10. To increase the contrast, I'm going to drag the white slider to the right, and about 40 looks good, and then I'll drag the black slider to the left, and just a little bit, about negative 15 is alright. Next I want to add some contrast and some depth, so I'm going to come down and increase the texture to about 25, and do the same with the clarity. So these are kind of known as the two sliders that make an image pop, and for good reason. Now you can see there's a little bit of haze between the mountains and the photographer, so I'm just going to come over to the dehaze slider and increase that as well to about 25. Now I know I'm going to be adding my own split tone effect and adding colors into the image, so I'm going to come down and take some of the natural colors out. So I'll set the saturation to about negative 30. Next I'm going to come into the tone curve panel, and I'm going to give the curve a slight S shape. So I'm going to click here and here, and that way the changes that I make won't affect the mid-tones, only the shadows and the highlights. So I'm going to take this bottom left point and drag it up a bit, and take the top right point and drag that down. So that's going to make anything that's really dark or black in my image become a little bit lighter so it's a dark gray, and anything that's super bright in the image and bring that down so it's a light gray. Overall, it just adds kind of a faded look to our image. Next I'll come into the split toning panel and I'm going to increase the saturation of the highlights to 100. That way we can see the color that we're working with better. And I'm going to drag the hue to a nice orange yellow color. So somewhere around 55 is good. And then I'll decrease the saturation. So I'm going to take that down to about 35. And then I'll do the same thing with the saturation of the shadow. So I'll bring that up to 100. And I want the shadows to have kind of a blue tint to them. So I'm going to change the hue to about 230. Again, I'll bring the saturation down on that to about 50. And then I'm going to use the balance slider, and that will tell Lightroom where to apply that orange and blue effect. So if I go to the left, it'll add more blue, because it will consider more of my image a shadow. And if I go all the way to the right, it'll add more yellow or orange, because it considers more of my image a highlight. So I want to have a little bit of both, so I'm going to drag the slider till I'm happy. So about 65 looks good. Now I'll come into the effects panel and add a slight vignette, so I'm going to bring the amount down to about negative 10. Then I'm going to go into the calibration panel. Normally this is used to calibrate or color correct some inconsistencies depending on the camera that you're using, but a little known trick is that you can use this to enhance your split tone looks. So if I drag the hue slider under red primary all the way to the right, you can see my image becomes a lot more yellow or orange, and if I drag it all the way to the left, it becomes a little more pink. Now I'm going for the orange sunset look, so I'm going to drag it to the right, but not quite as far, about 25. And then if I come down to the hue slider under blue primary and drag it all the way to the right, the image becomes very green, and if I go all the way to the left, it becomes way more orange or red. 
So again, I like that look, but I don't want it to be as strong. So I'm gonna go with around negative 25. So again, here's the before and the after. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you found it helpful, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up, and let me know what you wanna learn next in the comments. We create content based on your feedback, so it's really helpful. I'm JT Shaver for New Layer. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.